The fill command is an extremely useful command in lots of situations. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to know about it. When using the fill command, you need to specify the positions of two blocks, between which you will fill the entire area with blocks. A cool trick to use this in Java is to look at a block, type slash fill, and then press tab three times, which will give you the coordinates of the block. Then, go to the other corner, look at the block, and type tab three times. Finally, select the block you want to place. And that's it. Another useful way of doing this is pressing Control alt 4 which will type this squiggly thingy, which references your current position. For the other position, use those symbols with numbers. This means that you will fill the area between your current position and 10 more blocks in all three directions with the block you want. This way, you only have to stand in the place where you want to fill the blocks. In Bedrock, accessing the coordinates is a bit different. First, you need to toggle this option in the menus so you can copy the coordinates easily. Now, you can click this button to get the position of the block you are looking at. Using this, you can easily get the coordinates for your fill command and use it just like you'd do in Java Edition. But there is more stuff you can do with the fill command. If you want the blocks that you replace to be dropped as entities, just as if they had been mined, just add the destroy tag at the end. You can you can also choose to only replace the blocks on the outer edge of the fill region with the outline tag, which leaves the inner blocks unaffected. The hollow tag acts the same way, but it actually changes the inner blocks to air, dropping the blocks as entities. If you wanted to only replace the air blocks and leave the rest of the blocks unchanged, you can use the keep tag. Finally, you have the Replace tag, which allows you to specify which type of blocks you want to replace. You can choose to only replace a type of block, or all blocks that can be mined with a pickaxe, for example. And this is everything I wanted to show you. If you found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, you will surely enjoy this other video, in which I show you how to copy and paste your buildings with structure blocks. Thanks for watching.